kujua uchunguzi huu unaenda vipi umefika wapi ni nani mhusika ni hatua gani ambayo imechukuliwa ni gani some parliamentarians are asking for a lifestyle audit of the 10 officials who have since been suspended in Kilifi there are claims that the officers at the center of the Kilifi saga have curiously made millions overnight many of them said to own palatial homes at this posh estate Bofa Bofa is not your ordinary estate and this is the area in Kilifi that represents affluence Reports say some of those who've been implicated in the now mega corruption scandal own homes right here. Some analysts have expressed concern on the growing levels of corruption in the country. Many agreeing that the subject will certainly make a huge campaign agenda in the run-up to next year's general elections. ODM party, we focus on corruption everywhere in our country, regardless of who is concerned. And to ensure no further delays in the handling of corruption cases, the new chief justice has said special law courts have been established to hear graft cases back to back. Francis Ontomwa, KTN News, Kilifi. All right, so we want to have a conversation with Kilifi Governor Amason Kingi, who's joining me here live in studio. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. First of all, I'd like you to uh, tell us, um, we're hearing all sorts of figures, 51 million shillings, 1.6 billion shillings, which is which? Uh, the loss that um, uh, has been reported to me mm -hmm. is actually 51 million. All right. Yes. All right. So as the governor, what measures have you taken to get to the bottom of this uh, uh, scandal? Uh, immediately, this matter was brought to me on the 10th mm -hmm. uh, of October. Uh, we did write to the Central Bank of Kenya mm -hmm. to revise all the payments, all the fraudulent payments. At, unfortunately, already uh, some monies had been transferred from these accounts to other accounts. So we only managed to reverse 8 million. Right. So out of the 51 million, we have managed to recover 8 million. Right. And that is because of the swift action that I engineered on the 10th immediately. I go to know about this scam. All right, so there are, you know, quote unquote, senior officials who are said to be behind this. Uh, do you know who they are and what action have you taken against them, even with this investigation still ongoing? Well, I sought to know exactly how this uh, whole thing was uh, engineered, mm -hmm. and I came to Nairobi to head a dis I mean, to have a discussion with um, uh, with the IFMIS uh, department because this theft was actually done through the IFMIS system, and uh, they are able to explain to me that uh, there's some passwords mm -hmm. that were actually used to approve uh, the whole process of IFMIS, and therefore the holders of these particular passwords were the ones that we had to zero in. And immediately I, ca I, I went down to Kilifi. The first thing I did was, one, to withdraw their rights, and secondly, to direct that they step aside until proper investigation is done. For those who will be vindicated, certainly they'll come back to work. But for those who will be found culpable, they will face the full force of the law. All right. Uh, there are you know, people who've come out to say, and you saw in the story there, uh, Mombasa Senator Hassan Omar says that uh, there's no way that this could have happened under the watch of uh, the, the, the CEO of the county. That indeed, that you must have had um, you know, some knowledge of this. What do you say about that? Well, unless you don't have any idea of how government operates, mm -hmm. these things can happen because we have entrusted officers to manage certain processes. And uh, when they become irresponsible, then such a thing do occur. And for us, immediately we go to know that uh, indeed that these fraudulent payments, mm -hmm. I think we swung into action. Uh, in the beginning, you're asking whether which of these figures, is yes. it 51 or the 1.18 1, yes, billion? Yes, billion shillings. Now, the figure of 1.18 billion uh, allegedly lost in Kilifi is not true. Where did that figure come from? Well, that figure came from a document that was presented uh, 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 to the county assembly. But that particular document actually shows genuine government transactions that were done by the county government amounting to 1.18 billion. So no shilling out of the 1.18 billion was lost. The 1.18 billion can be fully, it can be accounted for fully. Uh, you'll find out that uh, it, it comprises of withholding tax. Mm -hmm. It comprises of payments that were done to, uh, to contractors and suppliers amounting to about 748 million. It also uh, comprises of transfers from our development to recurrent account, about 340 million. So everything can actually be accounted from one transaction to the other. So I want to confirm to the people of Kilefi 
and to the nation that Kilifi has not lost 1.18 billion. What has been stolen from Kilifi is 51 million, out of which 8 million has been recovered, mm -hmm. and we are still going for the for the balance. All right, uh, you know there are people who are saying that you know Cord has really uh, been going really hard. You know, with this corruption scandals, actually the deputy president, uh, you know, calls them, you know, whistleblowers, the court principles. You know, every time we have a uh, corruption scandal, they are really at the forefront to tell Kenyans about it. But you know, this time round, they are mum about it. Uh, why, why is this? Well, I don't think the mum about it. Mm -hmm. I think maybe they are waiting to get a brief. One thing about court is, before we react, we analyze facts. Okay. Right now, you can see the kind of facts that are being put forward about the 1.189 billion, which is false. So before the code principles react, they would want to know what is the true position before we can actually comment. And I think they're right. Uh, they'll dig through these, uh, these papers, uh, just like any other Kenyan, and they'll be able to comment. But corruption is corruption. Corruption does not know any party borders. Corruption, whether in jubilee, corruption, whether in court, corruption is corruption, and we must condemn it across board. All right. Uh, finally, let's you know talk. About, you know the Kilifi residents who are watching right now. This uh, you said that uh, eight million has been recovered, so we are talking about forty-three uh, million shillings. What was it? Uh, was it to be directed to some sort of development in the county? And how will you, as the governor, you know, ensure that these monies are, uh, you know, gotten back into the, you know? public coffers? Well, for us to get back this money, we rely heavily on the investigative agencies mm -hmm. of, of, of this country. Because as a county government, we are not vested with those powers. Ours was to take the evidence that we had to the investi uh, investigative